Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module we are going to discuss our new chapter that is exploring geometrical figures in 8th class. Please try to watch the remaining videos for all the remaining chapters. So our first question is, name 5 types of congruent objects you use daily. So for this what you can write here is any 5 pages they are asking. So you can use I classes that is practical classes that will be congruent to each other. Next one we can use girls will use bangles that also congruent to each other. Then we will use footwear that is slippers are shows whatever it is that are also congruent then anklets that also congruent next what you can use is so fans which are there if continuous same company fans that are congruent next socks that also congruent the snacks will eat with triangular shapes whatever it is that also congruent and we can use ribbons that also congruent then earrings that also congruent still is there anything yes whatever you will use at all pens pencils that are all congruent shapes. Thanks for watching. Here our second question is let's draw two congruent figures at the similar x plane. So here I am drawing let's take two triangles. Let's take two triangles. So let's give a name for this A B C. Then E F G. So the sides will be let's take the sides will be x centimeter then y this is z. So this also here this will be x this will be y this will be z. That means these sides this side are equal then this side and this side are equal and this side and this side down will will be equal. So what you can say here is let triangle ABC and triangle EFG are congruent or not. How you can say here is so let's take compare sides that is AB will be equal to EF that will be equal to Z centimeter then AC equal to EZ that will be equal to X centimeter then CB equal to GF that will be equal to Y centimeter then compare all the angles So compare all the angles, this one, this, this, here, this, angles, here, it will be angles like that. So let's take angles, angle A will be equal to angle E, angle C will be equal to angle C, angle B will be equal to angle F. What you can write here is by using SSS congruency type congruency criterion by using SSS congruency criterion then we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A means E should come see E for B F is there F for C, G is there. You can write like that. 
thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos so in this module we are going to discuss second question take two similar shapes if you slide rotate or flip one of them does the similarity remain same or not so i took two triangles with similar similar shapes so your sizes are different but shapes are the length of two different shapes are different but they are in similar so first one we are going to move this one so let's take select this one move so from this place to i am moving this place is there any changes in the shape no is there any changes in the shape no so here i am moving from this place to this place is there any change no change so here from this place to it's moving so from this place to it's moving but no change in shape the two figures are in same so let's take this shape so i am moving from this place to this place is there any change in shape no no change in shape so from move so all the vertices all the angles whatever it is all the same so in the movement you will not get any changes the vertices all are same so here we need to rotate the given shapes let's take these are the shapes one and two triangles then first we are going to rotate this one first one so select this so rotate this one we are going to rotate this shape up to some extent so if you rotate like this so in the place of a what you are getting the place of a what you got c we got here so here we got c so here we got c here in the place of b we got a in the place of c we got b so here actually in the place of a here original one is what a so in the place of a we got c in the place of b we got a in the place of c we got b after rotating but there is no change in the shape like that we are going to see this one also so rotate like this so rotate like this so in the place of what we are getting here is so in the place of g actually here in the place of g we got f in the place of f we got g in the place of e is there so whatever there is no change in no change what you can say no change in the shape after rotating also so like that we need to take flip so flip is what so for original shapes flip we have to do so these are the original shapes so what you can do here is flip means so simply rotate like this so we got flip after flipping we got this but this also after flipping what you will get check flipping is is just getting remote at a mirror image so let's stay in the place of after flipping in the place of b we got c in the place of c we got b in the place of g we got f in the place of f we got g mirror image so here c here mirror image is getting like this c is rotated like this b if you observe carefully we will get the mirror images so e also thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe 
So in this third question, what we have to do is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle NMO. So let's take A, B, C. For A, what they are given? N. So in the place of A, we should write N. For B, what they are given? M. So M here and O here. So C, O. So name the congruent sides and angles. So what is that is? So here, angles are there. For triangles, three angles. And sides also they are asking one, two, three. So these are all congruent sides. Means they are equal in length. For that we will write like that. So let's take this is x, this is y, this is z. This is also x, y, z. So what are the conditions you need to write here? So sides from triangle ABC and triangle NMO. So let's write AB compared with AB. AB is M that will be equal to X centimeter. Then AC will be equal to NO that will be equal to Y centimeter. Then BC will be equal to MO that will be equal to Z centimeter. So then compare angles. Angle A will be equal to angle N. Then angle B will be equal to angle M. Then angle C will be equal to angle O. By congruent, then what you can say by SSS congruency, what you can say here is triangle, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle NMO. So that one you can write. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss fourth question that is states whether the following statements are true explained with reason. So two squares of side 3 cm each and one of them rotated through 45 degree are congruent or not. So what that is here 3 cm and one more square also 3 cm. If you rotate let's take 1 and 2. If you rotate this square with 45 degrees, that is here 45 degrees, it's rotated, second one. So the two shapes are congruent or not? Yes, they are always congruent. Why? Because its sides are not changing, anything is not changing. Both are in congruent. Any second one. So first one true, second one, any two right triangles with hypotenuse 5 cm are congruent. So let's take right angle, this is 5 cm. Right angle means this is 90 degrees. So with the same one, so here also 5 cm. Then here lengths are different. So lengths are different here 1 and 2 here 1 and 2 are different so false it may not be congruent length will be hypotenuse will be same but it may not be congruent then third one any two circles of radius 4 cm each are congruent so let's take here circles radius 4 cm then one more circle radius 4 cm. So two circles are in same radius that two are congruent always that is true. Next fourth one. So what is fourth one is yes. two equilateral triangle of signed. So let's take two equilateral triangles of signed will be 4 cm 4 4 4 cm each but labeled as triangle ABC and triangle LHN are not congruent. Why? Why they are not congruent? This is false. That is two are congruent. Actually all sides are equal. The two are congruent. That is false. Next one, fifth one. Mirror images of polygon is congruent to the original. Yes, it is true. So, 
polygon means let's take four sides will be equal mirror image if you rotate this one is then you will get mirror image the two as that is true so fifth one is true